Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome, and a happy new year I suppose. I've had a nice little break, so let's get straight to it. Today's video is a challenge. Tango and I are going against each other to see who can load straw the fastest in the most realistic way possible. So this is a, a typical setup that uh, Tango and I would have used when we used to load straw in the real life. And he beat me back then as well, so the odds are in his favour because he's pretty good in a telehandler, the swine. So then, Mr. Tango, that's quite a tongue twister actually, Mr. Tango today's challenge. Mr. Tango today's challenge is we have to sort of load straw as realistic as possible to the onto the fast tracks using these JCBs. We are using Heston size bales, so free high. And I reckon we might get away with all along, if you know what I mean. And we won't have to twist any. As we are both experts at the real life loading straw. Do it. We, should, it. we should be able to absolutely nail this challenge on a simulator, he says. Should. Should, in theory. Yeah. We, should, we should be absolute boys at this. But we're probably not. I can see some serious problems going to happen. I'm, I'm definitely going to end up on my side. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Are you going to carry bales at full height like the, they are now? Oh, yeah. Have some <laughs> safety. Um, I haven't put any mods on for weight or any like mods where we get stuck in the field. This is quite a, a minimalist mod challenge just for the, the fun of it. But basically, this is a kind of realism challenge. So this is how we would load straw in the real life. So fast tracks would generally follow the tram lines and the telehandlers would load as they go through the field. But we haven't got any other drivers today. And, and uh, tram lines. And we haven't got any tram lines. Because it was kind of... It took well, it took three hours just to set this up, to be honest, all the fashion around. So the rules are, we're going to start from this bale here. What bale? Oh, this bale. This bale here. It's just the first bale I saw. And we you are going... You over there. Ah, oh, don't worry about that. That'd be alright. Actually, I think this was your row. Well, yeah. So, the rules are we're going to run to a fast track. Obviously, whoever gets to that one, whoever one you get in. And then there's a, a chopped bit of straw up the middle there where those two bales are. And we have to park in the middle, closest to each other, so we can see each other load. And then load the bales as quickly as we can. The winner will be the person who loads the bales, obviously, quickest. Shall we add another twist into it? Shall we drive somewhere? Drive somewhere? First one back. Oh. First one back in the fast track to touch the green margin over here. What green margin? Oh, this one. So right. Any, obviously, it's tapered, so. And you're not allowed to uh, teleport. No teleporting. Strap them as well. Strap them as well. So. In outside. Not in the cab. What do you mean? So you got to do each. So you got to do each bail, not just get in the cab and hit hit the button. Oh yeah, you've got to get out like um yeah. proper the the proper way. You can't just fasten all down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll go over the rules quickly again there, just to clarify everything. We start that bail, race to a fast track, fast track park in the middle, kind of close to each other, so we can see how each other's doing. We run back to a telehandler, start loading. Sounds good? Sounds good. Yeah. To the bale. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Uh, how, how are you, how are you quicker than me? I don't like this, this seems fixed already. Oh, the fast track lagging. I reckon, I reckon you had a little bit of a sp unless I've got the speed on wrong. Let <laughs> <laughs> have a quick look. Here? Here? do? Yeah, that'll, that'll do. do. You got the first Bye. You got the first parking space then. Oh, I haven't got I didn't have standard speed on. Oh no! Let me sprint. I'm going to speed myself up a bit because that wasn't fair. 
I can't remember the buttons. <laughs> So you got to suck it in, boom down, and then you I can go. I can't remember what suck it in is. There we go. Oh yeah, he's brought it back. Oh, I don't know how this is gonna work. What's that open? That's open. Oh, this is tense. <laughs> Is that up a bow? I let go of the bow. <laughs> okay, technical issue here. What's that? Oh no! Nice. Have you pl I've plugged? I plugged the spools in for you. Oh god, this is... I've definitely not done this in a long time. <laughs> oh no, the bow won't come off. That's what I was having trouble yeah. with. Yeah, I put minimum forks on as well just to see if that'd help anything. What do you mean minimum forks? You can have like um, spikes, you can have loads of spikes in it. I went oh. for 12 just to see if it would help. Ah, oh, amateur mistake. Who? Going that side. I don't know why. I say window side so you can see what's going on, but you can just go outside the cap. <laughs> yeah, but my bales, my spikes are sticking out too far. Ah, fair enough. I wasn't in the middle of the bale. And then. We'll judge each other's trailer on neatness as well, I think. That'd be quite funny. Oh, no! No! <laughs> I saw that happen as well. Oh, I'm so happy. No! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you still got part telehandler up. You haven't really, that's not a rule, it was first to the grass. And you completely Oh look! Do you know when um, someone falls over and get injured in the Olympics and then the, the winner comes back and, and helps them out? Also, this is a, a realistic tactic used for hills. <laughs> <laughs> He's come back for the wounded soldier. No man. <laughs> no man left behind. <sighs> Nearly made it. <sighs> the blood, the sweat, and the tears that went into loading these bales. So I definitely didn't win, and I'm definitely not going to get the prettiest load. But my first load were all right. And he's across the finish line. Ah. Well, you having fun there? Yep. So, congratulations then to 
Tango. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shall we inspect his load to see if he gets the prettiest load as well? Oh. Oh. That, sir, <laughs> is a pretty neat stack. It's like I've done it before. And then mine. Ooh. Ooh. No, yours are all over the shop. Ooh. I must admit, I didn't have time to tart up. But. You gave up, didn't you? In that face I there. just strapped on and legged it. So that was the realistic straw loading challenge. Tango smashed it. I got very frustrated. Definitely think the um, the bales need some sort of work or a mod or something so that they're, they're easier to slip out. But the um, the over grab was what do they call that grab? The flat four or whatever it is, isn't it? Kind of. Yeah, flat eight is what they were originally for. The old conventional. That's it. They're the actual best grab to use on this game. As you've seen in our multiplayers, we use them quite a lot because you can just line up, you nudge them. You don't have to worry about spikes. You just grab them, drop them, go. I wonder if they'll be alright for Heston's though. And how would we do Heston's? I don't like using those because you have to load them the different way, and I like loading them this way. This way is the correct yeah, way. It's pretty. So you yeah. you could though you could put two together, couldn't you? What do you mean? You you could load them like this. You would just come on front side with the, with that other grab. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah, but then you can only pick two up at a time. If you're thinking of the way I'm thinking. Yeah, you can only pick two up at a time. But, it would be fine. But wrong. But wrong. As opposed to laying free. I don't know, it is what it is, isn't it? You know the easiest way. I reckon you could have got one, two, three four, five along here with a bit of overhang. Yeah, I reckon you could have done a four. Four, one on its side, look, I've done. And then these, hang these three out over the back. Or just go, don't turn. Just put one, two, or, three, four, five. Oh yeah, or don't turn. Yeah. Yeah, so you'd get an extra row on. Well, that was... How long did that take? That actually took us... About 50 minutes to load two trailers. <laughs> so there's got to be a faster way. But that was the realistic way. That's how we used to load straw. Well, that's how we still load straw, really. Tango's going to do a bit of pretty parking. Obviously. Well, that's it for now then, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, bye for now. Sorry it's been so long. Yeah. <laughs>